Hello G Nation, it's your host G and we got a brand new character preview. This time it is for Ricky Steamboat, the Eternal Dragon. So as you can see, he is a trickster. Now, if we have a look at the card itself, the coach ability at 26,000 is moves and gems, trap countdown and juggernaut that generate yellow gems will create three more yellow gems and increase the kickout damage done by gem by 10%. So excellent coach again. Love those. Pretty much sure that all zombies are going to be a different color this month since there are six of them. Uh, he has links with zombies and modern era. Now the first move set we'll have a look at is going to be the Flesh Ripper Chop. 10 MP purple move. Finisher deals 113.4k damage. Choose eight trap gems to destroy and pin the opponent. The Dragon's Descent. 8 MP red move, deal 89.6k damage and make 8 random gems into trap gems. If broken by your opponent, deals 124k damage. If broken by you, made 6 random gems into purple gems. And the dragon tail lash 6 MP purple move, deals 70.3k damage and increase your red MP by 7. Now, I'm not a huge fan of this. I haven't tried it, but I'm on paper, I'm not a huge fan of this. Uh, the reason for it is that it is a really high MP for the finisher that will destroy those. So I'm not entirely sure that's going to be quite doable. Uh, it is doable in tours, in feuds, probably not outside of having a row bonus or something. Because right now I got to use double MP plus the tour perks to actually achieve that required 10. So we're going to use Woods and Farouk. Uh, for coaches, we got Dragon to create one extra trap and have those traps do 50% more damage. And I put in Macho here so that the purple and red do 20% more damage. Uh, purple is the big deal here. You could go with Santa Hogan with the flat 2200. Uh, you could go with, uh, is it Stacy? I No, Stacy is red. Uh, Ray, I think it's Ray that adds 20, uh, 2200. Uh, to purple as well. So those are a couple options. Uh, now this is to make it turn one. If you were to make this turn two, I would probably instead go with uh, Sting or Butch to get my red going. And uh, as secondary trainer, I would go with, uh, what's his name, Jinder to add more traps. And in this case, you would just generate your traps and hope you can match something so that it generates purple, which will connect, and then you would get your purple for the next turn. So that would probably be a more realistic way to do this outside of tours, but for tours, this should work fine. At least should, we'll try. Right. So we're gonna get our red. Now we're gonna lay the traps. Pretty much flood the board, yeah. So you don't even you don't even need Orton as a coach to create more purple because you're already making more than needed. That did about 1.5 mil. That should be enough. There you go. All right, that works. Uh, but as I said earlier, it is a pretty hard to achieve, and uh, we'll look at the, if there's a better way to do this. All right, second move set we're gonna have a look at. Variation of what we just checked, we're going to use this time the, well, quite a variation because actually we're only keeping one move. <laughs> it's going to be the Course Catapult, 8 MP purple move, deal 90.3k damage and make 6 random gems into trap gems. If broken by your opponent, decrease the damage of all your opponent gem by 15% for one total turn. If broken by you, deal 6,666 damage for every trap gem. The Dragon's Descent, 8 MP red move, deal 89.6k damage and make 
eight random gems into trap gems. If broken by your, your opponent deals 124k damage. If broken by you, make six random gems into purple gems. And a severed arm drag, five MP blue move, deal 69.9k damage, and choose five gems to make into red gems. So basically, uh, with this, the purpose of the blue move is gonna have is gonna be to give us our red, and we're gonna have a plate that the red will give us purple too. So that's the only purpose of that. Uh, trainers for that, we're gonna use gender so that we're creating more traps. We're gonna use uh, set Roland so that we're creating, uh, or not more creating, but we're having our purple do 35% more damage. Could use uh, uh, Carl Anderson to make more traps too, but we're kind of gonna make more than enough, I think, so that it would not do much if we add more, as opposed to uh, having the purples that will be flooding the board just increased in value. Uh, we're going to put Dragon here just to get an extra trap and 50% more damage on those traps because it will be half the board anyway. And we got Santa Hogan here for the extra 1 MP and uh, 2200 more damage out of every color. Now, as I said, for that to work, we're going to need this plate right here, which is what the rock is cooking. Whenever you break three or more red, get three purple moves. That's going to be pretty important for that. All right, let's try that. All right. That'll do it. And uh, let's try to place, place a five match right there to break traps, hopefully. anything matched on it. I think we're still gonna be good. Broke everything. 2.6 mil, that should be enough. All right, that worked out well. Uh, that being said, it does rely on the randomness of uh, traps breaking, well, the right traps breaking and matching wherever they break. And so lots of wild card, well, lots of RNG on that one. Let's try something else. All right, last move set for Steamboat. It's gonna be the severe arm drag, five MP blue move, deals 69.9k damage and choose five gems to make into red gems. The diving wing splash, five MP red move, deals 78.1k damage and make 38 botch gems into blue gems. And the flight of the dragon, five MP blue move, deals 78.3k damage and choose a seven by one area to make into pyro gems, which will modify all gems above it into botch when broken by you. Trainers for that, we're not gonna need any MP other than Santa here for the extra plus one and the 2200 uh, more damage for all colors. We're putting also Stacy for 50% extra damage on the botch, as well as Seamus and uh, Riddle both to add 35 and 45 percent to botch as well. Riddle, if he was max, would be 50, but mine is not max, so it's still 45. Uh, you could go with plus blue gem damage, but blue not being that eye of a color for him, I'd rather go for the increased in uh, botch, which goes above the 35 or the 20. So that is that or should be better. Let's give it a shot. All right, so we are going to lay down the seven by one pyros. We're going to use the severed arm to break those. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. We're going to make four. That's going to break the whole rope.
and now convert everything. Like if we check here, a blue gem does 26,000. I'm gonna convert 38 and we do already have a lot of blues, so that's almost everything left. Actually was everything left. 1.1 mil, that's kind of underwhelming really. I expected more. And he kicked out. Now we don't have any red here. So that's not gonna work out too good for me. I would need some red. Actually we're gonna need we're gonna get the red, sorry. Kinda forgot that it is red I'm making. <laughs> Now, I'm going to make this one here, because if I take the bottom one because of the wild card, I'm going to lose a whole column. Although then I'm going to lose a whole row anyway. Let's take four there. That's going to give me the red I need. Convert to blue. One point twenty seven, and we got it. And uh, that's pretty much going to be it for Dragon. Let's have a look at his six star move. Six star move, deadly dragon drop kick. Uh, it's gonna be making random gems into traps. Gonna be stealing health when the opponent breaks it and giving me blue if I break it. Yeah, not gonna make much of a change really as far as movesets go. I gotta say, I don't like him. I don't like him at all. And he's not a bad character whatsoever. I mean, he can still do one to 1.5 million without any issue. Uh, that just doesn't cut it these days. Uh, also, a lot of randomness to it. And not, it's all moves said that you don't really have much plates that benefit out of it. So, I don't like him. I, again, not a bad character, uh, but definitely not a great one. So, that is it for Steamboat. Obviously, as a coach, that's a whole different story. Ex ex extremely good coach for sure as they all are but yeah that's about it thanks for watching guys if you're not already a sub make sure to do so to be kept aware when i post new stuff have any questions ask them and if you like the video leave a like and share you guys gee up ciao